Dear Dr. Gilbert. Dear Dr. Gilbert. Dear Dr. Dear Dr. Gilbert. Dear Dr. Gilbert. We would like to tell you. We would like to tell you how grateful we how are. How grateful we are. And how much we care about and you. And how much we care about you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Gilbert, I would just really like to say thank you for this semester. I'm so thankful that I had you before you retired. I'm extremely sad that you're retiring. And selfishly, I really wish you were going to be here for at least the next two years until I graduate. As a hopeful future English teacher, I really, really hope that I can have discussions as amazing as yours in my classroom and that I can spark ideas the way that you spark them in class. You help me connect things that I really would never have connected without your guidance. The day that I visited you and you told me that I was a good student meant so much to me because you are so legendary. To have you, Dr. Gilbert, tell me that I was a good student meant a lot to me. When I think of Dr. Gilbert, I think of tea parties. We started them because a few English majors and I accidentally broke Dr. Gilbert's back on a field trip. I can't quite remember what her diagnosis was, but come spring 2005, she was limited in her mobility. We were all taking her seminar in Southern Literature that semester, which I didn't actually need. But when I realized the only thing I could take with Dr. Gilbert in the spring was another seminar, I signed on. If that isn't borderline obsession with a professor, I don't know what is. Thank you, Susan, for what you have meant to Meredith. Although I didn't have the pleasure of knowing you as my professor, many a Meredith student and alum associates your name with the rigor and passion for the subject matter that distinguishes a degree in English from Meredith. I have had the honor of being your colleague for the last 13 years, and I will never forget the kindness you have shown in some of my darkest days. I remember your sitting beside me at a faculty meeting, standing up to speak to the group on something about which we both feel pretty passionate. Although we hadn't spoken about it earlier, you squeezed my hand as you sat down, a simple gesture that made me forever call you friend. Thanks for the simple gestures, and thanks for your support. I first became a student of Dr. Gilbert in 1978 when I joined her American Lit class. I found her demanding and dazzling, and still do. Dr. Gilbert had a way of holding the bar high, almost out of reach, but of signaling with that smile of hers when we had come close to reaching it. As an undergraduate, I was awed by her. When I returned to Meredith years later as a teacher myself, I had the good fortune to become her colleague. Dr. Gilbert, Susan, I can't begin to tally up all that you've taught me. In later years, you've been a mentor and a friend. Thanks for all your lessons. We will miss you so much. Meredith College will miss you so much. And you've been my advocate, my tireless advocate. I appreciate it so much. And you're tough, and uh, you keep our students to high standards, which is great. You also have a kind heart, and while we're all busy talking about what we should do for people who need help. You're over at their house with one of your beautiful flower arrangements. Stay in touch. Come visit us. We will miss you. I'll always remember how you were always interested in my travels to Russia and how you gave me pointers for how to keep up my study of Russian language and history. Spasibo Bolshoya. Thanks a lot. I was a senior when Susan Gilbert joined the faculty at Meredith. Uh, Marbeth Wren gave her the name Woozy, and I'm the one that's never been willing to let her forget that. The one thing Woozy did when I was a young faculty member that we thought was quite odd um, was she got pregnant and didn't tell anybody. And as she, over the months, gradually expanded her perennial, perpetual, gray wool jumper and the pregnancy became more and more obvious, we began to wonder if she knew and if we needed to tell her. <laughs> but lo and behold, <laughs> it seems she did and Wendy was born and Susan was back at work in a nanosecond um, and modeled for all of us just getting on with it. Uh, so for that I'm grateful too. It's been a long time since I sat in your American Literature class, spring semester 1981, but I have never forgotten it. 
I do remember all of the red marks I received from you on my papers during that semester, but most of all, I remember how confident I began to feel about my writing. Since that time, whenever I write anything, whether it's a letter to my classmates or just a thank you note, I always think of that class and your talent for teaching American literature, as well as how you provided encouragement to an older student. Working with Dr. Gilbert one-on-one -on -one this past semester has been incredible. She's been incredibly patient with me and kind. And I've just been so grateful to have an opportunity to work with someone so brilliant. I feel like I learned so much from you, Dr. Gilbert, and I'm so incredibly grateful for the opportunity to just be in your presence, really. It's been so much fun working on my thesis with you and reworking it, hearing your ideas. And I swear I walk away from every session that we have and just realize, oh my gosh, I'm never going to know as much as her. <laughs> um, so one of my goals is to maybe acquire half the knowledge that you have. <laughs> I think I'd be doing pretty good. I felt like I learned more in that class probably than I have in all of my classes at Meredith. Don't tell the other professors. I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck in your retirement. I wish you the best in your retirement, but of course, selfishly, I wish that you were here at Meredith so that I could take many more classes with you. You will be missed at Meredith. I'll miss you, Woozy, but we can walk in Cameron Park and we can teach classes to continuing ed students together. I do hope to see you teaching in the continuing education literature class sometime soon, and maybe at the gym. I do wish you a fantastic retirement. I know that you plan on gardening and having a lot of fun with that. So I hope that your garden turns out absolutely beautiful. And so, Dr. Gilbert, Meredith says farewell to you. Did you love it? Tell me you loved it. Oh, you loved it. <laughs>